Church Online. It's another week of lockdown, another week closer to summer. Uh, it's Monday, first day of the week, so uh, that means that yesterday was Sunday Church Online. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got there in the end. Um, we had a really great time watching Sunday Church Online, didn't we? Yeah, Bishop Mike was with us talking about prayer um, and patterns of prayer. We've launched Rhythm, which is our kind of church-wide um, hope for our prayer lives. So you can find out a bit more about that if you head to our website, staugustinsipswich.org.uk forward slash rhythm. But um, having Bishop Mike with us was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So many nuggets of gold that he he, ju- he just kind of, it all flows, doesn't it? Yeah, so if it's you didn't brilliant. catch it, definitely go back um, and re-watch yesterday's service. Uh, but for now, let's carry on with our Bible in one yes. year readings here. Let's. So we're still in John's Gospel, and today we're going to be looking at chapter 10, verses 22 to 30. So read along with us. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. I love some of the um, little details that we get in scripture. Just it, it was winter. I don't know what Jerusalem's like in winter, but it helps to set the scene. Perhaps not <laughs> snow and frost like we might imagine. But it kind of sets the scene for one of the kind of the so many encounters that we have between between Jesus and the people that he meets in and around Jerusalem. Yeah, and and as we've been reading through John's Gospel these last few weeks. I don't know about you, but I'm noticing kind of some real repetition in these, just people keep coming back and asking Jesus who he is. You know, we've had lots of, are you the Christ, are you the Messiah, who do you say you are? I think lots of things like that, and here, like we've got again, if you're the Christ, tell us plainly. And I wonder if at this point Jesus is like, guys, how much more do I need to say who I am and still not getting it? Yeah, it's fascinating, isn't it? Because that's, that's not something that we experience today. Kind of, you, know, you might forget someone's name, perhaps. But once, you know, once, I, once I've met Amy, I don't every time I come across her say, now who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> but there's something clearly about Jesus and the way he acts and the way he is that, that prompts the question, that makes people ask, mm-hmm. what's going on here? Who are you? And we've got a lovely bit of imagery um, talking about Jesus saying, my sheep listen to my voice. Um, And kind of just before this reading, so what would have been yesterday's reading, where where, um, we hear Jesus talking about him him as a good shepherd. So we're kind of carrying on from that and he's he's talking about his sheep hearing him. And that's often um, imagery that's used a lot about Jesus, isn't it? Talking about him as a shepherd and his followers as a flock. Yeah, and it's there's there's quite a an interesting relationship between shepherd and sheep, isn't there? There's kind of... I can't remember who said it, but someone once said, the thing about shepherds is they should smell of their sheep. There's some, <laughs> something about kind of that closeness of relationship between sheep and shepherd, between Jesus and his followers, that, that there's that kind of intimacy, isn't there? Like, it says he knows us, and that's not just he knows who we are or knows of us or knows about us he really knows us yeah. um and then and then we the sheep we follow him that's the response to being being known and loved by jesus and then that really finished with that um <clears throat> that amazing verse i and the father are one mm. what do you make of that <sighs> oh that's a big question isn't it? <laughs> the unity of the father and the son i i think that it I think it's perhaps even a, a model for us because Jesus prays that his church will be yeah. one, his church will be one as he and the Father are one. And I think there's something about not being the same, not being uniform, 
but being united, united in in what our values are, in what we're working towards, and I, mean, I guess ultimately in to whom we belong, that yeah. being Jesus. And you think about the church, the, ch- the church is so big, it's so much bigger than like just St Augustine's Ipswich, mm. or um, like bigger than the diocese of St Edmundsbury where we are, it's even bigger than just the Anglican church, there are so many different denominations of church all over the world, and what unites us is that we're all trying to follow Jesus Mm. and we're all trying to share the gospel and share the good news and how that looks is a bit different wherever that happens and we all do it in slightly different ways and we have way different ways that we worship and things like that but it's it's that uniting factor we're not uniform like you said but we're united yeah and that means that 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 wonderful promise in here in verse verse um verse 28 no one will snatch them out of his hand that that applies to all of us doesn't it no one can snatch us out of christ's hands and that's that's a huge reassurance isn't it yeah. it's something to celebrate yeah amazing shall we pray lord god thank you so much that you are the good shepherd and that you love us your sheep your flock Lord, would you help us to love our fellow sheep? Would you help us to be shepherded by you, to be led by you, to be known by you, and to follow you in response? And Lord, we pray for your church across the world, not just our little church in Ipswich, but we pray for for your worldwide church and ask that you'll unite us in our mission to share the gospel and to love one another and to love you. Help us to all work together. Help us to not be in competition with one another, but to love one another. Would you build up your church and pour your Holy Spirit out on her? We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us for Weekday Church Online today. We'll see you tomorrow at 8am. Stay safe, God bless. Bye. Bye.